Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about the Word of God. Our reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Today's teaching is called the Word of God. Our reading starts with the writer of Hebrews stating that the Word of God is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. The point the reader is trying to get across to everyone is that the Word of God, when spoken out, is alive, powerful, and able to slice up any evil in this present world. He continues on to say that it is even able to divide between soul and spirit and joints and marrow. This is an incredible statement when you think about dividing your soul and spirit or your joints and marrow. The writer finishes this verse by saying that the Word of God is a discerner or it is able to perceive the thoughts of your heart. The Word of God is alive and when you read it, it is not just a book that you read and put aside for another time. It has a very special way of changing people when they continue to read it. It becomes alive and speaks wisdom to you in your heart. Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 through 22 tells us more about the Word of God and its power. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. This proverb is telling you that when you read the Word of God, the Holy Bible, it is life to those that do read it, and also it brings health or healing to your flesh. Joshua wrote that you should meditate in the Word day and night, for this will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. The Apostle John wrote in the very first verse of his Gospel about how significant the Word is. John chapter 1 verse 1 states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This says that God is the Word. Not too many verses later we are told that Jesus is the Word in John chapter 1 verse 14. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. These verses should help you have a clear understanding about the importance of the Word, because it says God is the Word, and Jesus is God in the flesh. God lifted Jesus up above everything. The Apostle Paul told us in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verse 9, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Jesus' name is more powerful than anything which means that the word of God is more powerful than anything because Jesus is the word that became flesh. Knowing this, you can show how powerful the word is for you when you believe in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. The letter of Paul to the Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 says, And ye are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power. Here, Paul tells you that you are complete in Jesus, meaning that because of Jesus, you have the same power as him when you believe in him. When you do believe in Jesus and you pray in his name, there is nothing more powerful to fix anything in your life. When you put the word of God in your heart by reading it and meditating on it, you will see yourself change. And when you call on the name of Jesus, You will see it work for you more and more by the faith you grow from being in the Word of God. The Apostle Paul confirms this in his letter to the Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. The Word will change you if you allow it to. I had a friend that was being harassed by a co-worker because he was a believer. My friend's co-worker would come to work every day and ask him questions about things in the Bible to try to argue against the Word of God. My friend said that this got to a point where he couldn't even answer all the questions that this guy was asking him. This went on for months, but what my friend didn't realize was that this guy was looking for an argument in the Word every day. He was going home and reading the Bible to come back the next day to ask him another question. After about six months of doing this, this guy who was totally arguing against the Word became a believer. The Word of God changed this guy's heart and he had no idea it was happening to him. This is an awesome display of God's power through His Word. This is only one way the Word will change you, but there is so much more it can do for you. In it, you will find abundant scriptures that can be applied to your life about health and healing, 
about finances, and about the power the Word has when spoken against problems that you face in your life. Jesus told us to speak out loud to our mountain or problems, and this spoken Word will remove these problems. The Gospel according to Mark chapter 11, verse 23 quotes Jesus, telling us this, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Here is another verse from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 29, telling you about the power in the word of God. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? The apostle Paul calls the word of God the sword of the spirit, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. And finally, here is a quote from Jesus in the Gospel according to Matthew that tells you that the Word of God should be more important than food. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Father, thank you for your Word. Help us to a place where we focus on your Word to allow it to change us. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.